Welcome everyone. Tonight we are taking a look at the FIA Manufacturers Cup Round 2 around Nürburgring GP. And unfortunately, I've forgotten to save the replay, so we're gonna go ahead and download my teammate's Jara's replay. So, yeah, let's take a look and see how it went. So that was the grid for today's race, we qualified in a very respectful P5, I said a 56.7 in the qualifying, pole up was a 56.5, and well, we are starting the race, and I just want you guys to see this first lap, because what happened, like, I really didn't expect it, like, you're gonna see Henso go a little bit defensive, and. He just broke way too early, I probably broke late too, and well, you'll see. I I even have to avoid him, I nearly drift through the corner and I'm accidentally in first gear, I think. But I just managed to make the move stick through there. So yeah, right now I realize that Nike is in P1 and uh, he's holding up Jara. And that I actually have some insane pace, so we'll see the how the race develops now. So here we go into lap two. We just exited that chicane, and we're right on the tail of Lucas. And well, we are following him through the straight. He's going well. He's looking for the slip room, kind of going defensive. I'm gonna try and find the line. Pick, pick up my lines, try and pass him, go to the outside. I do a switch back to the inside. Step on the power very, very soon. Another switch back. And I quickly go to the inside. Little bit of contact, but a very, very right move. So, great move and insane progress. And the leaders are right there. So now we're gonna see this moment, and I think it was basically race defining. Here comes Jara, goes to the outside on Nike. Out breaks him just by a little bit. Holds that outside and he has made the move stick. Nike looks like he's had to give up that move. Jara pushes him quite wide. And Nike switches back to the inside, but... There's no use, and Yara has made that move stick. Now we're gonna try and attack Nike straight away, trying to find the inside somewhere, and... Well, it's, it's no use once again. And now, here we go. Uh, we're gonna go for the chicane. 
and I think well, we, we take a better line. We get an amazing exit, he gets a little bit loose and I think, okay, I'm just gonna do it here because I don't have enough acceleration nor straight line speed. But then I find myself with Nike just having a better exit and I think, okay, I just defend the inside for turn one and I tried to not leave that much of a gap, but apparently there was a little bit of a gap. And I did it a little bit of an aggressive block, but I think it was alright. So now we'll see how we if we can chase Jar or not. So I'm not gonna lie, um, nothing much really happened for the rest of the race, except for me being like really, really close to Jara. Like, I I actually managed to hold the pace with this car, which had me quite happy. And I finished like 2.8 behind him. So yeah, uh, it was a pretty good race. I managed to keep uh, up the pace with the with the alpha, which makes me quite happy. And I don't think I anybody did a better race than me, or if I could have done a better race at all. So I'm quite happy. Um, and thank you everyone for watching. I know this race was quite boring, except for the start. But before you go, I want to show you guys something. So this will forever leave me wondering what it could have been this race. So yeah, um, as you guys can see, right up up until the end of the street, if you look at my accelerator, uh, it's about holding up at a 95% rate, which probably lost me a little bit of temps. But yeah, I don't know how much it lost me. It also lost me in accelerations and such. So I wonder what it could have been this race. I'm gonna try and get my pedals fixed. It's just supposedly the potentiometers. But yeah, all in all, pretty happy with my race. You can see there it just got a, up to 100% acceleration. And yeah, it was a pretty good race and I'm pretty happy with it, but it'll leave me wondering what it could have been if I didn't have this problem with my pedals as we're gonna go to another straight to give an example here you can see that gap and how it's jumping up and down so yeah probably lost me a little bit of time not enough for me to try and make a challenge for the race win but yeah sometimes it is how it is and we bird with it quite nicely during this race so yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next race.